So we're here on uh, the mountainside of, of Alta Vista in the Stan Creek district of Belize. We'll now start the process of hauling these framing sticks down to the shelter uh, which we're building and this will hold up the thatch for our, for our covered shelter for the, for the workers when it's raining and uh, visitors to enjoy lunch by the creek side of the development. <laughs> Back in 2006, when I first purchased things, there was no, um, it was walking through a, a little stone pathway through the palms to get up to a point of where we climbed trees, um, sometimes pulling ourselves up with vines, just to get a glimpse of the view. From that point of falling in love with it in 2006, and the time I had spent in Belize from 2002 to 2006, I uh, made this purchase and came back in 2007 to uh, have a road construction crew build a road up to this up to this mountain peak. You can see we hand cleared and chopped and we've cleared with chainsaws the trees alongside the roadway so that we can bulldoze the edges and flatten out the, the edge of the roadways to plant coconut palm trees uh, which will bring in revenue and really form a nice canopy on each side of the road which with flowers in between those coconut palms. After that point, we'll add the solar lighting and, and other things to, again, aesthetically really set this place apart. vision I have, which you know everyone collectively is, is working to make happen, to come together, is to come have a, a nice, peaceful lunch and uh, be eating the fruits and vegetables from the land around you and taking a hike through the creek and uh, obviously viewing the, the teak trees, which are, are growing as we speak. As friends and guests, visitors, uh, co-workers, different investors fly in to see the development, we uh, put our ideas together and we're trying to build our own paradise. At the same time, we have the teak which is literally growing uh, your assets. It's, it's amazing. These are two, three months old and you can see some of the, some of the size of the teak is, is pretty incredible for, uh, for being three months old. Uh, the, the nutrients and the pH levels of the soil, the grade of the land, I could go on and on about how perfect it is to grow teak here. But more so than the investment side of it is the enjoyment of, of the people we work with, the casual dress code, and, and again, waking up every day and trying to make that vision come true is, is really special. There's no better feeling than enjoying what you do. And I, I can't tell you how passionate I feel about this and, and other lands that we're beginning to work on. And the progress that we've already came to this point is just, we're just at the ground floor of what this is gonna be. So I hope you become a part of it. Thanks. We'll come over to the germination bed and, and show, just demonstrate a little bit of how the process works. You wanna have seeds that are genetically pure and have papers similar to purebred dogs. And those papers show the size of trees they came from, the germination rate of those seeds, they're pre-treated against diseases, um, so on and so forth. So you know that you know, the seeds that you're getting, the trees that are gonna grow, have the highest chance of becoming the largest, highest quality teak available. Otherwise, if you get from local trees, I mean, you can get free seeds, thousands of them from local trees, and you're gonna have a small, low quality or very average quality teak. This is how they are when they're, when they're in the nursery. And then from here, when you think you have a, a you know, good sized little plant to plant on your, on your farm, you put them in the ground and you lose that, that eight inches. 
and uh, they feel small again for a while. So it, um, yeah, it's a real interesting process. You treat them like you're, they're your little kids, and um, then someday they, they pay for your kids' uh, education. All right, we're here in the drying room at uh, IT Vet, and all of the all of the, the hardwood that comes from um, La Selva de la Croix, like even if it's just a, a home site development or the plantation company, is utilized. So we don't let any trees that were on the existing farm, on the existing land, go to waste. So any investors or people's interested in, in building a thatch roof cabana, a small property on the 50 acres, or a large home on the 20 acres with, with the expansive views, will actually be using lumber from the trees that was on the land before we planted the teak plantation. So just trying to reuse, recycle, and um, make use of what we have. My boss is a bad boss. Last year, um, last week, a guy is come and my boss make it. The, one of the guys eat the pepper. He nearly cried. <laughs> that is, what type of pepper? This is, uh, this is the habanero pepper. It is habanero. Yeah, right here we have two colors. Right now you cannot see the color. It's young. These are habaneros. Yes. The only thing really left to to beautify the place, in my opinion, is to take and cover up the piles of sticks that we have in the gullies. And we did that to prevent erosion. But, you know, these large piles of sticks, it would be beautiful, and this is what we're going to do now that we've found out what'll, what'll grow nicely over them, is do flowering vines. And actually, uh, just the other day at uh, CGA, we found a, a flowering vine by the name of uh, Wild Peanut that'll produce and put off a, a yellow flower and also fertilize by ad adding nitrogen to the soil. You can just drink right out of there, huh? It's tasty water. This is a natural... Uh, natural water. There's different areas along this creek, and this is uh, an excellent one because it's five, six feet deep when this sediment drains out. You can dam up the water and have an endless water supply. So it's a, it's a big feature. It, it makes the entire development uh, much more valuable. Okay, this is a cassava tree. This is the cassava. Right now, this cassava can grow as big as this. The soil is good soil. You can do pudding off of that, the cassava bread, the tortilla. And What are we having here, David? We're having a little uh, four guys out of shape, sit down and have Edwin cut up some uh, fresh coconuts from the jungle. We're gonna take the first one. Thank you. The, the most spectacular view I've ever seen up at the top of the hill here. Um, this is just awesome, this is cool. I'm just glad to be here. It's got me a lot more excited about everything for sure.